Hey everyone, could you see me over here? You see that number seven? You see the seven up there? Do you know what that stands for, that number seven? That stands for exactly how many more minutes I can last out in this cold, because it is freaking cold. It's zero degrees Celsius. I have not dressed properly. What is that in Fahrenheit? It's right there. I've got like 14 layers of clothing on because my winter jacket's in storage. I have to get it out of storage to get out to do some more reviews. All right, so what about here today with? Well, I have two of these uh, minis, DJI minis. Uh, the number one, they call it the DJI Mavic mini. And the number two, they just call it the DJI mini. So I can't tell the difference between the both of them. It's, I can't even speak, I'm so cold. But if you look at the back, this is how I fix that. So before my teeth, <laughs> so before my teeth start chattering, I'm having difficulty speaking. Uh, let me just tell you a little bit about this before I get into the actual review and basically tell you the difference. I'm gonna try to do this review different than most reviews you see on YouTube, because that's what I do. So in this review, I know a lot of you are watching this right now because the DJI Mavic Mini, number one, the one with the little green thing on top, uh, this is still for sale. And mark my words, it's gonna be on sale for Black Friday, and it's gonna be on sale at Christmas time, and it's gonna be on sale again after Christmas. You know, it's a really good, it's, it's gonna be a really good deal if you could buy this on sale. Now, a lot of you are gonna look at it and say, do I wanna buy this on sale, or do I want the Mini 2, the DJI Mini 2 right here. You know, why Why would I buy the Mini 2 over the 1? Well, that's what this video is about. I'm just going to show you the differences, what DJI has done with this drone over this drone, and then that should give you enough information to decide if you should buy either one. And right now, if you're looking at buying a drone because you own none, well, I'm gonna tell you right now, either drone is an awesome buy. And the links are below this video to where you get it. And I always point my links because I don't know how many people don't realize this, especially here in Canada. They don't realize this, that if you click on the link below, it takes you to the DJI store and the price you see is all you pay. So if the price shows up at like, I don't know, 300 or $400 US, that's all you pay to your door with DHL shipping. Customs and duties is included, as well as the taxes. Now, there are a few states in the U.S. who, I don't know what's wrong with them. They have their hands in everybody's pocket and they charge state tax. But for most of the world, the price you see is what you get. All right, I still have two active unfrozen brain cells. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to go indoors. You're going to see me indoors and I'm going to talk about these drones, but I'm going to show you all the footage I took from outdoors showing you the difference. All right, here we go. All right, welcome to indoors. This is gonna be a pretty cool video because I'm gonna take these drones out and compare the video footage between the both on the worst possible recording day. So you need a really good camera to record well on the day I recorded the video on these and you're gonna see it. As well, I'm gonna test out the OcuSync 2 penetration. You know, everybody talks about now you can go 10 kilometers with the Mini 2, but what does that really mean for you, the average user? Me, I live in Canada. I can't fly 10 kilometers, but I use the power of OcuSync 2 to go through things, go through objects, so that I can still control the drone if I have something in the way. So I'm gonna test that out in this video, so stay tuned for that. But right now, below, right here, I have both the Mini 1 and the Mini 2. I'm not gonna call the Mini 1 the Mavic Mini anymore. I'm just gonna call it the Mini 1 and the Mini 2, which is a new one. And they're both here. And I bet you if you look at them, you can't tell the difference between the two because they are identical pretty much. But how about I go over the physical features and just tell you what's different about them and then you'll have a really, really good idea of the Mini 2. Here we go. Now, both of these drones are under 250 grams, except the Mini 1 is 249 grams. The Mini 2 is not 249 grams. It is much less. I've got a sticker on it and look at how much less it weighs. The next thing that is different are the props. The props actually look a little bit different in build quality between the Mini 1 and the Mini 2. And the prop tips are silver on the Mini 1 and they're an orangey color on the Mini 2. One thing that we all laughed about on the Mini 1, if I spin the Mini 1 around here in the Mini 2, one thing we all laughed about is right in here on the arm, that's foam. So the Mini 1, to make it light, they didn't use plastic, they used a piece of foam. There's just a piece of foam covering the wires. But on the Mini 2, it's actually plastic behind these little walls here. So it's uh, different. 
Another new physical feature on the Mini 2 is the nose light indicator. You can configure this LED light to any color you want, as well as you can make it stay on permanently or slowly go on and off or do some other little tricks. It's pretty cool. So you can make your Mini different than everybody else's just by configuring that light. All right, the next big difference between the Mini 1 and the Mini 2 would be the batteries. So let me take these out and tell you about the batteries. The difference between the two batteries is that the Mini 1 uses a lithium ion battery and the Mini 2 uses a LiPo battery. All powerful drones use a LiPo battery. Lithium ion is more for trickling out the power of vice power. So a LiPo battery is why the Mini 2 can do certain little tricks like this. For instance, it can fly faster than the Mini 1 because DJI adjusts at the angle. So when a drone has to fly forward, it has to tilt, right? So and then it goes forward, backwards, tilt sideways, and that's how it flies. If you want to make a drone fly really fast forward, you have to really tilt it and it just pulls itself right through the air. So you need a battery that's going to handle the resistance because the props are going to get a lot of resistance chopping up that air. So a LiPo battery is perfect for that. And a LiPo battery is what is used in all drones, just like the FPV drones behind me, which are super powerful. And that's also why the Mini 2 is better in the wind. Because when a drone is in the wind, you can never have wind blowing faster than the forward speed of the drone. If you flew the Mini 1 in the wind, sometimes the drone would tilt and try to come back to you. But it's using a lithium ion battery and it's only trickling out the power. So sometimes the power is insufficient to pull the drone through the air. But with a LiPo battery, you can tilt it and a LiPo battery just sends out a lot of power all at once and the motors will never run out of power. They'll always have enough power to continuously keep spinning, you know, with the friction of the wind and it will pull itself through the wind. And that's why the Mini 2 does better than the Mini 1 in the air and also goes faster. And one very important thing to note about these two batteries is that they are at a different voltage and milliamp hour. So the Mini 2 battery will not 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 fit in the Mavic Mini 1. Nope, it will not fit inside. And DJI has made it so that it doesn't fit by making the shape, you know, it's not really oval like the previous battery, it's more octagon shape. But in doing so, they left the Mini 1 battery and it is able to fit inside the Mini 2. You can put the Mini 1 in the Mini 2 and fly. Just be aware that if you put the Mini 1 battery in the Mini 2, you're not gonna have all that power I spoke of. Now, by changing the batteries, DJI also had to change the battery chargers. So you can't charge a Mavic 2 battery and a Mavic 1 and so forth and so on. You shouldn't because the voltage and the amps, it's, it's all different. So basically, these two chargers are different and made only for the batteries that they are designed to charge. In addition, the wall warts are different sizes and have a different output as well. So the one for the Mini 2 is quite large compared to the one for the Mavic Mini 1. Now, one of the changes DJI did with the Mini 2 is they used the controller from the Mavic Air 2, and I love that controller. I love that shape, I love that style, it's really awesome. By using the controller from the Mavic Air 2, they, well, use OcuSync 2, because that's what the Mavic Air 2 uses. So this here Mini has OcuSync 2 in it, which is pretty good, and this controller, being as large as it is, well, it has a massive size battery in it. So if you're out flying and you have these two controllers and you got the Mini 1 and you got the Mini 2, well, guess what? You're gonna be able to fly longer with the Mini 2 than you can with the Mini 1, because the battery in the Mini 1 is much smaller than that in the Mini 2 controller. So now let's think, the Mavic Mini 1 one used enhanced Wi-Fi and it had a really good range and it was pretty decent. The Mini 2 uses OcuSync 2. So what's the difference you're asking? Well, the enhanced Wi-Fi had a better latency. In other words, if something's coming up, you're flying and you see something in front of you, the signal back to you is pretty fast with the enhanced Wi-Fi. It's actually a little bit slower with the OcuSync 2. However, the bitrate coming back on the OcuSync 2 is much higher. So the image on your phone is a way better with OcuSync 2 than it is with the enhanced Wi-Fi. Also, do you remember back in the days of DJI, there was no OcuSync 2, that came out in 2016. Before that, everybody used Lightbridge. Lightbridge was pretty darn amazing and we still use it today, like the Inspire 2, and it's got a really, really good penetration, except it doesn't have range. So it made me think, hmm, enhanced Wi-Fi versus OcuSync 2, which one has the better penetration? And when I say penetration, 
get your dirty thoughts out of your mind. I mean, what if you are flying and you're flying in the woods and you have a bunch of trees in front of you and your drones someplace else? Those trees contain water. They will block your signal. Say you're flying and there's buildings around you. Those buildings will block your signal between the controller and the drone. So I thought, I've got to give this a try between Enhance Wi-Fi and OcuSync 2. Check out my test. All right, so here's the penetration test. I have the Mavic Mini 1. It's outside of the school. Here, let me just turn this camera around. You can see there's the school and the Mavic Mini 1 is on the ground out there. So the reason I'm in my Jeep doing this is because it's so cold out there. I'm going to fly the Mavic Mini up. It has to go up over the school and then down the other side. So I have the school between myself in a vehicle, a metal vehicle here. And uh, well, there's going to be a massive interference. Okay, I've got the Mini up to two meters. I'm just going to spin it around. It's in P mode so you can see me in the Jeep. Where are we, Jeep? There we are down there. Let's get out of the sun. So that's me in there. You probably can't see me. I'm waving and uh, let's go and give this a shot. So we're going to go straight up and we're going to go over the school. So let me take it up to about, uh, let's see, 20 meters. There you go, 20 meters going forward. And you can see my display. Am I going to lose reception or not? So it's going forward, forward over the school. And then when I get to the road on the other side of the school, you can see the road down below. There's the little playground and there's the road over there. All right, looking at the other side of the school, I'm holding the controller in my lap here. I'm going to hold it like this and I'm going to try to do that with both drones. So if I look to the left, I can see kids playing over there. But I've already checked below me. There's nothing below me. So looking forward, here we go. I'm going down. Let's see. Is this thing going to take me all the way? Is it going to have enough communication? This is this is a DJI Mavic Mini 1. Is it going to be able to let me go and drop below the school? It says I'm at 11 meters, 10 meters, 9. Oh my god, it's st I still got reception, guys. 5 4 Oh, it's oh, it's cutting in and out. I can't tell where I am. Oh, blackness, blackness, blackness. So I got nothing. Weak signal, adjust antennas. Oh, return to home. So that was really good. That is the DJI Mavic Mini 1, which is only has an, it only has an enhanced Wi-Fi. The Mini 2 has OcuSync, which should be better for penetration, I think. All right, let's go check out our Mini. Pop outside the Jeep here. I got to jump down. There it is. Mini, you did a really good job. And this is the Mini 1. All right, now the Mini 2. Here we go, taking off. There it is up in the air. Yes, yes, I will check it on the map and I'm gonna spin it around. I've got it in normal mode. I'll spin it around so you can see me in the Jeep. And there I am down there, waving again. You probably can't see anything, but uh, let's take it on up. There we are, fly forward. I will say the Mini 2 just flies so much faster too, that extra little bump it has in speed is pretty amazing all right so i'm going to take it over to where i was before all the way over here spin it around and uh, let's see if there's any kids out playing or anything just like last time i'm going to hold this up like this this is a different antenna this is ocusync 2.0 let's cross our fingers that it does just as well as the dji mavic mini here we go going down 19 meters 17 meters 15 14 it's going down 11 10 7 6 4 3 2 oh look at this i got it to all the way down to one and yeah Ocu look at this ocusync i'm down at one meter and i can go lower it's gonna think i want to land but i can still fly it around back there at one meter look at this i'm gonna i have full control i'm spinning it now nice and slow and I can actually fly back here. I'm at 0.8 meters off the ground with the school in the way. And uh, hopefully my phone is recording. Oh, did I just lose reception? I lost it. No, I got it back. Thought I lost it there for a sec. Oh, oh, it is choppy. At point, point 0.5, point 0.6, it doesn't know what to do. Oh, it's the drone is moving itself. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. 
<laughs> I got a sec. There we go. There we go. There we go. 0. 0.5. All right. I don't want to take it forward because it will go right into the car right there. So let me just see if I can land it. I'm going to land it. Pull. Come on, land. Tap to cancel landing. And I've lost display. So the OcuSync 2.0 was better. It says it's not connected. <laughs> All right. Let's just hit this here uh, home button. Hmm, it's not coming back. So I'm going to go over there and check it out. Wow, there's so many people out here learning how to drive right now. It's amazing. There it is. The drone is right there on the ground. Oh, and look, now I have signal. All right, so I can see myself on the video walking up to it and you can see it. Is it even powered on still? Yeah, it's still powered on. There we go. Let's see if I can arm it here. Can I arm it? Let's go see. Yeah, I can arm it, but I had no reception on the other end to fly it back. Well, Mini 2, your OcuSync is better than the Wi-Fi, but confused the heck out of me why I lost reception when I landed. I guess it landed and it just shut off as in, you don't want to fly anymore, but that's not normally the case. Normally you can land it and then uh, you should still have reception, video that is, and then I can still do the uh, takeoff, but it basically landed and uh, that was it, the end of the signal. So there's the drone and there's the school. Uh, and I was on the other side of that school. All right, let's see if I can bring you back and land you on my Jeep. Very right, little mini, I'm gonna spin you up here. I'll do this with one hand, see if I can land you on my Jeep. Cars coming by are gonna wonder, what is this guy doing? Let's see if I can do this with one hand, flying it forward. And then we will bring it down nicely. And I'm probably gonna crash the heck out of this. And that's what I thought. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh my God. Klutzoid of the year. Is it still good? That looks good to me. All right. Oh, the battery's coming out the back. Okay, so that's something uh, for everybody. Do not land on a Jeep that has a sloped hood and uh, make sure your battery is securely placed in the drone. And just to show everybody it still works, check this out. I'm hoping it works, fingers crossed. There we go. This thing is super durable. Works great. There we go. So I'm not going to land you on my Jeep again. That's for sure. I'm going to land you in my hand. All right, so pretty impressive. So you saw that OcuSync 2 is slightly, slightly better at penetration than enhanced Wi-Fi. So if you bought yourself a Mavic Mini 1, well, you got yourself a really good drone. It is not like only half as good as the Mini 2. It's like 98% as good as the Mini 2, if the Mini 2 is 100%. So you probably wouldn't notice a difference in penetration or range between these two. Obviously, if you fly super, super far, it all depends how you're holding your controller, what's around you and everything else. Sometimes, you know, the Mini 1 could go farther than the Mini 2. That's just the way it is when you get really far out in range. Now, you also saw that the Mini 1 did the return to home, but the Mini 2 didn't because I landed it. So obviously you can't land and do return to home. It just landed and that was it. But I want to talk about the return to home on the Mini 1 and the Mini 2. So when the Mini 1 does a return to home, it's using the normal satellites that we're used to, you know, like GLONASS and GPS. But when you look at the specs for the Mini 2, the Mini 2 has a third one. It's got GPS, GLONASS, and Galileo. I have no idea what the Galileo is, but that's what it says it has for the satellite system. Now, I think the biggest feature that someone would choose the Mini 2 over the Mini 1 is not because of the battery and the flight time and the wind and all that other good stuff, that's that's actually kind of minor. That's nothing exciting if you fly drones. If you're new at flying drones, you might think it's exciting. That's really not exciting. What is exciting is the camera. The camera on the Mini 2 is a 4K camera and it can actually take raw photos. The Mini 1 has a 2.7K camera and it can't take raw photos. But both of these drones have a similar camera. And now you're wondering how similar are the cameras or how far apart are the cameras? You're going to be really surprised at this test because I'm going to tell you the exact truth. All right, check it out. All right, can you see me away out here? I'm walking closer and closer. So right now I'm going to stop walking about now. 
and I want to show you the image from the Mavic Mini 1. Look at me, this is the Mavic Mini 1. This is what the image resolution looks like on the most terrible day to ever film with a Mini. The Minis, if you're not aware, are designed to be used in sunlight. Not cloudy days like today where they're all messed up. I'll show you how to fix that in a second. So that's the image on the Mavic Mini 1. I'm gonna mix up those names a lot. Now let's switch over to the DJI Mini 2. There you go, there's the image on the DJI Mini 2 that costs more, which is very new. Can you see a difference? Can you see a difference? I'm gonna guess, well, maybe you can see a difference. I can't really tell on my phones. I'm gonna guess maybe you can or cannot. Look at the clouds, look at everything else. I'll put them side by side. What do you see? What do you see side by side? The reason I say you probably can't tell a difference, I could be wrong, I haven't seen the video, is because it's the same sensor in both cameras. Yes, it allows the same amount of light in because the aperture is the same. The field of view is the same. Same megapixels too, both 12 megapixels. That's it, the sensor's just 12 megapixel for photos. They both take the same 12 megapixel photo. So let me get closer, I'll probably look better as I get closer, if that's even possible, that I can even look better. But uh, here I am up close. So uh, do you see any icicles off me? Oh, I got, looks like I got one drone a little higher than the other. So here I am closer. You should see more colors because these cameras are designed to look at what's in the center and take that image and expose properly for it. So as I get close here, I should be properly exposed. I'm trying to get in the center of both. So how does that look? Here's the Mini 1, the Mavic Mini 1. How does that look? Here, I'm in the center of the Mini 1, Mavic Mini 1. How does that look color-wise? Okay, I'm gonna go over to the DJI Mini 2 right here. I'm in the Mini 2. How does that look color-wise? See any difference? Side by side. See any difference? You know, they're designed to work when an object is big, like me, right in front of it. It gets the exposure a bit better than it does when I walk backwards. Because when I walk backwards, it says, hey, I got to expose for you the grass and the sky. I can't do that. So, uh, yeah, the way you fix that is with the exposure of the EV control. I'll show you that in a second. Oh, and did I mention I'm recording both of these videos at 2.7K? 2.7K, so that's to keep it fair. But I am going to switch the Mini 2 to 4K because it is able to do that. And the Mini 2 at 4K... You say, why do I want to film in 4K? I don't even have a computer at home that plays 4K or a monitor or a TV that's 4K. Because if you film in 4K and say something that's far, far away, here, let me show you. Say something's far, far away, <laughs> way back here. Now take a look at me way back here. You see, if you want to crop into this image at 2.7K, you can crop, but it's probably not going to look the best. Here, let me crop it. I'm going to crop in on both cameras. Cropping in to me. So how does that look? I'm cropping it at something percent. I'm showing it below. How does that look? Now, let me just stop the video and switch it over to 4K on the Mini 2. All right, so let's try that crop again on both of these. So let's crop in. We're gonna go the 2.7K on the Mini 1, cropping in. And now on the 4K version of the Mini 2, can I crop in farther and still look better? You know, how much closer can I get where it looks better? You should be seeing me cropped in a lot more because it's 4K. Here, let me get closer so the colors look better. And as I come closer, how does the 4K look on the Mini 2? It should look pretty decent because that's 4K resolution. There's my huge noggin in 4K. And if I go over, over to the 2.7K of the Mini 1, there's my huge noggin. Now, obviously, there's more detail, more specs because on the 4K on the Mini 2, it has a megabit rating of 100. So it is recording this at 100 megabits per second, which is pretty darn decent. 2.7K on the DJI Mavic Mini and 4K on the Mini 2. So, and if I zoom into myself on the Mini 2, boink, there we go. There's a zoom in. So you can be flying and zooming and get that. You can zoom up to four times zoom if I put it at 1080p. So let me show you that. I'll do that right now. All right, now the image on the Mini 2 probably looks terrible because I'm recording at 1080p. That's a much lower resolution than 4K and 2.7K. But let me hit the zoomy thing here and show you. So there's two times zoom. There's three times zoom. No, that's four times. I didn't even get to it three times. It just went well, it just went two times and four times. That's not bad. Though. Oh, and I have a slider control. So there I can do a smooth zoom. There we go, smooth zoom. We're up to four. So that's not bad. So you could be filming away and zoom in and out. All right, so I've got the Mini 2 back at 4K and I've got the Mini 1 back at 2.7K. Now, let me show you the photos these uh, really cool drones can take.
All right, I did say I was gonna show you how to fix the image so it looks better when it's dull like this with these minis, mini one or mini two. So the way I'm gonna do it is I'm just gonna show you caveman style right here, is just take a look at my controllers. Can you see them? I have both in my hand right here. On the lower right, there's something called EV and it says zero, zero right now. That's what you wanna play with, the EV setting. So can you see it on this one? I've hit the EV button and it gives me all these things like zero, zero, minus zero three. All right, so if my phone is recording, you can see the EV setting on the phone. And if I go down, it gets darker. So when it's not sunny out, you have to use this EV setting to get your photos just right. So there we go. I look a little bit better at plus 1.3. And now if I snap a photo at plus 1.3, this is what I get. Should look better. So you can see basically in both drones, it's the same sensor, it's the same camera, everything. Just that DJI has permitted the Mini 2 to record at 4K and have raw shots and all the other good stuff. DJI does that a long time. The sensor in these drones are pretty much the sensor it was way back in the Spark. It's just, and the Mavic Pro, it's just a sensor that DJI uses, modifies it, just tweaks it a little bit here and there. They probably add a little bit better processor to the Mini 2 to handle the raw photos and the 4K and a few other things, but they could have did that with the Mini 1. They just decided not to. It's all part of their plan, and you watch. The Mini 3 will probably have maybe obstacle avoidance or a follow function. You know, they have to just increase it to make it more attractive than the previous model. And of course, if you've never owned a Mini 1 or the Mini 2, I would highly suggest you get them because if you get one for Christmas and say it's cold and there's snow outside or it's terrible weather, you can fly them indoors. I'm gonna fly one right here. So if I go like this, there's no GPS in here, nothing. It's just gonna use, well, basically it's just gonna use the settings of the area right here. All right, I'm just gonna sit back a bit and here we go. Take off. Going up with our Mini indoors. There you go. I gotta bring it back. There's a lot of lamps and lights over here. So let me bring it down in the image so you can see it. It holds perfectly still. Can I get my head around it? All right, guys. Let me just spin it around so you can see I'm flying the Mini 2. We're gonna do a really slow yaw here. Well, maybe I'll speed it up since I'm running out of time. There we go. So there's the Mini 2. And uh, all I wanna say is, <laughs> hey, you're in my camera. That's right, move over. I'll just move you over a little bit. All right, all I want to say is thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Links are below to the Mini 1 and the Mini 2. Check them out. The Mini 1's probably on sale with the Black Friday and a few other things. But uh, I think they're really good drones. I really like them. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye. There we go. Uh, Mini, you always impress me. See you guys.